What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Quick video today, just checking in with the Pogba situation. And um, Paul Pogba has once again spoke out about wanting to leave Manchester United. Now he hasn't said it in so many words, but basically that's what he's saying. He said he, he thinks that he's had three years at the club and he thinks a new challenge um, is needed. My thoughts on that is, ugh, I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed. Not because he wants to go, um, I'm kind of on that side anyway. I think Paul Pogba should go. I think we should get as much as we can for him as possible and just get new players in. Just, you know, sell Pogba because he quite clearly does not want to be here. And another season at Manchester United for Paul Pogba wouldn't be great because is he going to bother his arse to do anything? Is he? I don't think so. If we keep him for another year, might do shite for the season and we get less money for him. Also run down his contract. So no, we don't want that. If Paul Pogba wants to leave, get out. Go. That's fine. Honestly, it's fine. I think he's a great player. A great player. And I like him when he's consistent. But when he doesn't look arsed, you know, we have players that will that will put in a shift, will that they'll do 100%. They'll give everything for the club. If he's not going to do it week in, week out, fine, he can go. Now, the thing that annoys me the most is the fact that when he's away, when he's on international duty or now when he's on his holidays, he's off doing work in China with uh, Adidas, he's just chatting all the time. He just talks too much. Stop talking. You know, if you want to leave, that's fine. Leave. But the fact that he keeps on talking to the media and saying that he wants to go, um, oh, it would be a dream to move to Real Madrid. That's fine. Go, follow your dreams. But I respect the players who have been linked with other clubs and they just don't say anything. Let it be. What happens, happens. That's why you have a, an agent. That's why they do all the business for you. So you don't have to deal with that crap. But Paul Pogba seems to think that he can talk to the media. And I just think it's so disrespectful for the club and the fans. It's it, it's incredibly disrespectful. And yes, the fans have not been very respectful to Paul Pogba. A small minority of them. He's been abused on the pitch. He's been abused on social media. But that's not all the fans. That's a, that's a selection of them. And I think the loyal fans who have supported Paul Pogba, who bought his jerseys, who've paid to watch him play, I think those fans deserve a bit of respect and and if you want to leave that's fine we'll wish you well but stop talking sh shit to the media and and that's how I feel about it Um. okay so Real Madrid have been massively linked with him and of course so have Juventus but it's quite clear Juventus he's already been there he's won stuff there why would he go back I would go to Real Madrid if I was Pogba and um, so yeah I just I just think Go off to Real Madrid, that's fine. Honestly, I think if he goes there, he really needs to pull his socks up and be consistent because if he's not consistent the way he has been at Manchester United, the Real Madrid fans will chill him up and spit him out. That's what they'll do. Eden Hazard was announced as a player there the other day. He got um he went into the stadium and he was he what's the word when you go and see the fans? I can't forget I can't remember, I can't remember what's the name. Um, anyway, whatever, Eden Hazard went to the Santiago Bernabeu and all the fans, before Eden Hazard walked out onto the pitch, they were all screaming, Queremos Mbappe, Queremos Mbappe, which means we want Mbappe, we want Mbappe. Hello? You are at Eden Hazard's reveal. He's there. He's the, your new player. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? They just, the fans at Real Madrid can be so brutal, like, so brutal. They've booed Zinedine Zidane when he played there. They've booed Cristiano Ronaldo, who is Real Madrid's biggest legend, in my opinion. They've booed Gareth Bale after he won them the Champions League. He scored that final goal. He won them the Champions League, which was their third consecutive Champions League. And then they do that at Eden Hazard's reveal. I just I don't understand it. I think it's I think it's hilarious. I think it's it's funny. So which leads me to believe if Paul Pogba goes to Real Madrid and if he has a few shit matches, even one, if he looks like he's not arsed, if he has a bad game, I I don't doubt that the fans won't shout abuse at him and boom. A lot of fans don't even want him there anyway. I saw a poll that was done, um I think it was some Spanish media, they said, Would would you like Paul Pogba at Real Madrid? 
and most of them voted no. It was like a very low percentage of people actually wanted Paul Pogba at Real Madrid. So we'll see how it goes if he does go there. But I don't see a future at Manchester United for Paul Pogba anymore. And obviously because that's not what he wants. He doesn't want a future at Manchester United. But as well, even if he does come back, if he doesn't get that move that he wants, I don't want him there anymore because he doesn't want to be there. I want players at Manchester United who want to be there. And if he doesn't want to be there, fine, go, good luck, thank you for everything, thank you for everything. Anyway guys, I'm annoyed at that story, but what can you do? Um, let me know your thoughts on Paul Pogba, do you want him to stay, do you want him to go? I feel like I've asked this question so many times on my channel, um, but it's because he's constantly talking to the media and it's always becoming a topic in the news, it's becoming relevant. Whereas you've got David De Gea, who has been linked with a move numerous times, numerous years, and does David De Gea talk to the media and say things and test and flirt with, with a move? No, he doesn't. He doesn't do that because he's a nice lad. Paul Bogba just loves to chat and loves to be the centre of attention. He loves to be the guy that everyone's talking about. So, yeah, that's how I feel about it. Let me know your thoughts. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, drop a like on the video. And I'm sorry for the rant. I'll see you for the next one.